Okay, hello, good to see you. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of my clothing haul of stuff which I want to process today, um, which is becoming a bit of an impossibility because <laughs> what is it now? It must be coming up to about three o'clock. So the concept of photographing much of this stuff today is pretty much out of the window. It is now raining um and it's very dingy so if anything the only thing i'm going to be able to do is process things and iron them look for marks i did a whole load of laundry yesterday anyway which was like marks and stupid things i have done some debobbling this morning i've just debobbled this one which was the last thing that was on the end of that part one of this haul um and although I have like literally spent 20 minutes debobbling it, it's not looking all that great. This was a right arse. Because it's got lace on the shoulders, this was a real... It kept snagging on the lace and I thought I was going to destroy the debobbler. So this was the one that was white stuff. Um, the reason I've picked this up is because it is a merino wool. So hopefully i should be able to get around the um 30 region oh, it's like the bubbles into my gob <laughs> i do have a drink anyway yeah i have got all of this stuff to show you which i am definitely going to process today I'm starting to wonder why a lot of this stuff is here so last time i had a um a merino wool white white company not white stuff white company i actually did sell them for 30 pounds so it's not a bad it's not a bad going on <laughs> it's not a bad pickup for three pounds but that's been a lot of debobbling work um frogs we do have here now are siobhan and Shelley. Shelley who is always with Monster. Right in the eyes. Doesn't make sense, mate. Come closer. Yeah, um but we do have Bluey here as well. Yeah, so um my husband's in the front in, in the living area because this is the trouble, we only live in a small flat. Um there's only one like main area living area and he wants to watch well no he's playing on his xbox and me flinging clothes around isn't like is totally counterproductive so stuff i have to process i have got a this is a uniqlo t-shirt it doesn't look like much but the back looks great so it's got a fish on it um i always forget what this japanese artist is and so it is XL. It is a men's t-shirt. Men's t-shirts for me, I have barely any in my stock. It does just say Museum of Fine Arts, but this is like... I, 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 I don't know. I know. Because every time I look it up, yeah, I know who that is. Uh, the, guy that does Mount, the, the guy that does the Mount Fiji art. Um, but anyway, that should be at least uh, £20. Page three um, should help the fact that it's XL. So that's a good little buy. I've got this, which, you know, is the right colours, I suppose, for going into summer, but it is very nautical. Um, so would have been better in the summer months. Let me move this. Mind you, I'm going to probably come a cropper with the mic, as I always do. My trouble that I have with the mic is because number one it doesn't fit properly in the input anyway because it's not an audio jack and an audio jack is typically longer but then it's got an adapter on it and it just keeps falling out of alignment and going the lip sync just keeps going it with just the smallest nudge and the reason sometimes that I don't even notice is because it can be my neighbour downstairs slamming their door will be the thing which sets off and I won't realise. Yeah, so just a basic jewels top. 
Um, I think I probably paid two pounds for this. I will not have put, paid much more for it because jewels have a presence on eBay. But this is a size 14. It looks a lot bigger. It is long sleeve, which helps the fact that it is autumn. Let's face it, we only had like five days of summer or whatever it was. Um, but it probably won't fetch any more than fourteen pounds of fifteen pounds because because of what it is it's just dull and boring this is something that i bought for myself but it's way too tight <coughs> so just a it's just an, an iron maiden t-shirt it just it really was not right on me i don't even understand it i think it's just something to do with the boobs um i would hate to think that i am actually that big um it just it's just an uncomfortable t-shirt to wear so that's going on the pile mind you it, mean, it actually says fruit of the room on it so this is just a charity shop pickup i thought it was um to be honest i thought that was a h&m effort but there you go so that will go on the pile i have an alexander mcqueen t-shirt here i do feel like i've seen i've shown a lot of this and maybe this stuff is waiting for me to debobble it and I've probably shown this in a haul previously. Never mind. This is stuff I'm processing today. Um, I was wondering whether this was genuine or not. <laughs> it is genuine. Just paranoia. Alexander McQueen. I've only paid three pounds. I remember, I remember picking this up and it came out with a whole load of other stuff which had, you know, far superior prices on it it's definitely genuine and i quite like it thankfully it's not marked i'm starting to wonder whether some of the stuff is in this um in this box because it's marked or it needs debobbling but i'm not that sure so i think a lot of it might be here because it's just winter wear so it's the best time for me to get it out i just need to know what the hell's going on here because i've got another two boxes of stock the back here which need dealing with which i haven't even got to because this is in the way um yeah i don't know what i'm on about i've got a rab t-shirt all of this just feels very familiar in terms of um in terms of stuff that i've shown on haul videos yeah so it just says climbing and the rest of it Obviously, rab fleeces are the things to pick up. You know, for the rest of you, not for me. I don't sell them for very high prices at all. I've only paid like three pounds for these. So even if I just get uh, twenty to twenty-five, that's fine by me. I have a folk jumper. This needs debobbling. This is annoying because I keep doing a debobble and then I find something else that needs debobbling. <laughs> yeah uh let's see what this is because this feels like it might have shrunk uh this is 80 percent wool and it is 13 percent mohair so i don't feel too bad now for the fact that it looks so hairy because obviously mohair is supposed to be hairy i think the lion's share of folk is menswear However, this says size 5 on it, and size 5 is supposed to be big. So, I'm wondering if it's women's. The last thing I had that I thought was women's, I did end up finding a picture of it on the website, and it was men's, and it was so bleeding feminine. It was unreal. Uh, I think I paid £4 for this. It is striped, but you can't really see, because I've come into this silly room where the light is behind me so I'll go with menswear with that actually i've got to put that aside because i've now got to debobble that this is something that looks like it should have been done in the summer months so i'm going to struggle to sell this um yeah so just a basic dress um with what looks like seagulls on it but could just be like undergrowth <laughs> um yeah so that's by hobbs size 14 just a basic dress does it have pockets 
it certainly needs pockets but it hasn't got them yeah um shame i didn't get that listed and it's been languishing in this box but there you go um honestly this this looks like the ordnance survey um icon for like marshland or something <laughs> so yeah um hopefully that will sell i'll have to just if i if i put summer wear on at this time of year i always put it on a buy it now because obviously an auction won't go well um if i'm auctioning stuff i only auction stuff which is seasonal um just to cover myself otherwise i just end up losing out this is clearly something which needs deep up <laughs> i'm just creating myself loads of work but it needs doing because it's obviously been put in this box because i couldn't be asked to do it before so i've already debobbled two jumpers this morning so another two jumpers isn't so bad uh this is white stuff it's a green cardigan it's got the very very curly label on it it's a size 12 um and i'm hoping that it's something good because i see white stuff all the time so i only tend to pick up stuff which has got something decent in it why am i reading it in the wrong language so 45 percent wool 20 percent alpaca so i've picked that up because of the alpaca content obviously a three pound pickup um it'll sell for 25 i hope fat face i think better in the jumper market than white stuff are but you know there's always there's always potential <laughs> to get more that's just a basic t-shirt um again it's white stuff um what size is it who knows because it's it's curly yeah size 12 those are elephants aren't they yes the elephant print um so that should go well because people just like that yeah you have to wait for the right buyer but you know things happen okay i have got this jumper here oh my goodness thankfully it doesn't need debobbling um creme <laughs> de la creme uh what was i thinking the fact is is that i've been picking these things up all through the summer months um what have we got here this must just be like basic bitch acrylic wool <laughs> this is cotton actually yeah so it's cotton um let me show you it's whistles um and now i've stopped paying attention to that size extra small not really is it yes i suppose it is uh i don't know how much that will sell for a lot of the time these uh, worded t-shirts are quite popular i don't think i'm going to get any more than 25 pounds for this um even you know i mean unless somebody starts going around going saying unless creme de la creme becomes a catchphrase <laughs> i doubt <laughs> it's going to sell for much right so i was saying earlier that fat face command slightly more in jumpers um and i would think that that probably is the case because this is quite glittery so going into the um christmas season that'll be okay i probably will stick this up at the 30 mark just to cover my ass um and i'm hoping that the reason i've picked this up is because it's got something good in it uh no just just wool and a bunch of other things which you kind of wish weren't there when you read it and then the old metallized fibers which is never an option to pick on ebay uh, but it's yeah it's glittered you can't see but it is i promise you um this is why i like to film in the other room because i can actually show you these things but it's got silver thread all the way through that and it is a size 14 although it looks a lot bigger uh, this is the trouble with jumpers is that some of them are stretched some of them are shrunk you just never know what you're gonna get what is this oh right yeah this right so this is something that i bought for myself <laughs> yeah 
Um, so it's it's vintage, and obviously the size is vintage. I and myself think that I'm vintage, but I'm not. Um, it's a vintage size 12, which probably means that it's a size 8. I'm fairly confident that it is. I mean, I have very big, idiotic arms. I'm still blaming the fact that when, it, when I, you know, that power steering is no longer a thing. And I think that's why we all have bingo wings. <laughs> but I love this top. Back in the day, this would have been so desirable and so fabulous for, for, for you know, <laughs> people like me. I really wanted this to fit, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't fit in any way. It doesn't fit here. It, I can't get my arms in it. This is just not long enough. So I'll we'll put this, I'll we'll, we'll resize this as a size eight. Um, it is red or dead. So it's, yeah, it says 12, but it isn't. It's got um, embellishment on it as well. So it's red or dead. Red or dead was so fabulous at the end of the nineties, um, beginning of the millennium but you know hardly anybody's even heard of them now but this is proper y2k stuff um 90s stuff and i wish it fit me but i have to face the facts it doesn't fit me okay i am now seeing the truth of what this this flipping box is because i'm now seeing something that i've washed and i have washed and i have washed to try and get this blinking stain out that's on it it's this has got some kind of an adhesive mark on it somebody has obviously leaned up against something they've obviously done the washing up or something and there's been some kind of like grout or something on it and they've got this sticky line on the dress which i cannot get out and it's sticky and it will not wash out so I, this has been in a previous haul, but this has been going round and round with me trying various methods of getting this flipping mark out. So I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and list this. This is a Joe Brown's dress in a, quite a nice size, 16. But it has got this mark on it, which I now can't see, but I know it's there. So I need to... I need to just list that and declare and then the rest of this stuff I can see is stuff that needs debobbling and stuff that needs repairing um, but for some reason I haven't dealt with so why on earth I have two boxes of this stuff um, begs belief this this I should have already listed this had a mark in it so I know that this is just laundry and then I couldn't work out what the hell was going on with it. Um, so this is called the Pirate Cardigan and this is a um, All Saints job. You've seen this in a previous haul. And then I found this horrific mark on it. And then I found the listing on um, Google on how it looks and I didn't save it. So now <laughs> you can see that this is just insane. <laughs> There's like two sleeves here. Uh, and it's like a wrap around cardigan but it's got all this like draped waterfall bit and then it's got all these poppers on it so i can't work out where the poppers go and so that's why that's ended up flung in this <laughs> this never-ending bin so that needs to be listed <laughs> i do have one item which i know you haven't seen um i think there's other stuff in here which this certainly needs debobbling. I don't know why this is still sat in here. I think I tried debobbling this, but it's not happening and it's very piled. That's been in there for a year. This has got a paint stain on it, which will not come out. Yeah, this is annoying because that's mint velvet. I know it's got a bit of cashmere in it. It's got stars on the sleeve and there's paint on the sleeve. So, yeah, that's what this box is. This is a box where things go to die. So, this is the end of the haul now. This is all the stuff which I can deal with. Um, this is stuff I've got to make decisions about. 
that is my sewing and my um other stains which need dealing with so now i have two boxes of irritating things to deal with so i'm going to process what i've got then i'm going to work on the two plastic boxes which i've got at the end there and deal with them so that i don't end up in this situation again and that my new stock in can go into one of these plastic bags because yeah I just feel better about things being in plastic if they're going to not be listed for a while in case there's a moth situation. I know that there isn't a moth situation, but I think it would be best for things to be um, put in, <laughs> put away. And then I need to look at what's going on here and probably like throw some things away. I know that there's a pair of jeans here which have got stuff which i didn't notice so i know that i just need to throw these away because nothing's going to happen with them i just need to write them off so anyway last thing which i've got which i can go ahead and list obviously because it's brand new with tax so there's no issue with this i have paid five pounds for this um i think i bought it because you know it's like i never quite believe how much things do sell for <laughs> brand new and then i see things like this and i'm like holy crap so this is a brand which I don't really think much of and I, I pick it up on occasion and then I do really well on it. For example, this week I've sold a silk shirt of theirs which was in their basic range. This is the Paris Estilia which isn't one of their basic ranges but obviously it's new with tags so for £5 I picked it up because I thought, yep, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, you know, and people do think about workwear and it's quite royal and, you know, and the next season of the crown will be out but look at that <laughs> so the original price so in english was 75 pounds for this basic skirt and then whoever's bought it has ended up donating it to charity <laughs> so thank you very much for buying this skirt and then not wearing it uh size 38 um so that's 10 size 10 I did have another I had those trousers that were in the previous one were 38 but they were definitely not a size 10 they were definitely a size 8 I would hazard a guess to say that they're possibly not a size 10 <laughs> it seems quite small for a size 10 but there you go that's the last thing that I've bought I don't know what I'm going to get for this I'll try for around the 30 mark um because it's new with tags maybe 35 I don't know I, th I think I priced quite competitively but then a lot of the time some of my stuff just sort of like sits around not selling even though i think i've put really competitive prices on but there you go right so um i'm disappointed to find out which i that i have this box here of stuff which needs dealing with i'm fairly certain that some of this stuff is stuff which i have to model myself um yeah i know that this is something that I need to model myself because it's just a one sleeve thing so I know that's why that's in there I'm just gonna have to like bite the bullet and just do it because it's ridiculous I don't you know yeah I mean I don't look great but my mannequin can't handle an off-the-shoulder long sleeve so that, that's why that's in there and um, the same for that this um this new look top um that needs a proper pair of tits in it and a proper pair of arms in it so i'm just gonna bite the bullet and model them myself take advantage of the fact that my husband is sat in there and he can take these photos um because otherwise i have to use the um timer thing on and it and it never really works out that well when I use the timer but then sometimes when my husband does the photos he doesn't he, he doesn't re you know there's like masses of space and you have to crop <laughs> you're like really take a picture of the entire room and you're you're like a little figure in it I just think can you not just can you not just like take the photo of what I'm doing or then it'll take too much of a photo of me not the top but i don't know I'll, I'll see if i can get him involved in 
you know, I've just got to bite the bullet and do them. I think there's other stuff as well, which I need to, um, I need to model. I don't know. But this has been in here for, this has been in here for ages and it just looks shapeless. It's all stuff which I need to do and I need to just bite the bullet on it um, and just do it. Nobody gives a damn what I look like. Only me is getting paranoid about stuff like this. This is a nice silk top by Monsoon. It's got pen mark on it. <laughs> pen bleeding mark. <laughs> so annoying. So yeah, I've got, I've got lots of stuff in here um, which I need to just go, just get gone. Like them. The least Levi jeans with a big uh in it and a, and barely any crotch. I've just got to be written off, but I've got to do it on my spreadsheet. So, yeah, that's the situation I'm in. I'm going to sort through all this. Promise. <laughs> it's just, I now have to go to work tomorrow. Today's Thursday and I'm working tomorrow and I'm working the weekend. <laughs> so, um, it probably won't be dealt with straight away but it will be dealt with in the foreseeable future <laughs> i'm going to try and iron and prep the majority of this today while we watch telly and then i'm going to photograph tomorrow morning because the light is not right today um i've got time tomorrow morning and then i'm at work in the afternoon so I've got no excuses to not do the photos tomorrow. I could just push through it tomorrow. So thank you for watching. And I'm sorry that it's been so fragmented. I'm sorry that the first video was so fragmented. I just, I just should have just done the... I was in a position to start doing the video at about 11 o'clock this morning. And then I just thought, I don't want to get involved in doing a video and start getting into my work and then I've got a phone call and then as it was the phone call was two hours later <sighs> it's so frustrating anyway that's my life I'm sure we all have these gripes in life so anyway thank you for watching and I will throw this up on YouTube and if you like it please give a thumbs up please subscribe it would be nice to get to the thousand mark but I understand that if you don't like me, don't subscribe. I don't subscribe to people who annoy the living hell out of me. <laughs> and I know I have that capacity. But if you do like me, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Siobhan, do you want to sign off? Oh, yes. Right, so it's a, it's a day of ironing for you and I. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Oh, jeez, put to work again. <laughs>